as it is for continuous data same logic applies to discrete data as well the difference lies in the method to calculate the standard deviation the method of estimating the standard deviation depends on the discrete data type and hence on the type of distribution that this set of discrete data follows so if we take a scenario which is like yes no or pass fail or okay not okay or one zero or defect non defect basically when there are only two possible outcomes such a data set follows a binomial distribution now as a part of the binomial distribution properties we know that the standard deviation is given by square root of p into 1 minus p where p is the probability of success or proportion non defective so if we substitute this value of standard deviation in the formula this is what we get this formula is what we end up using when the data is discrete and is following a binomial distribution here is the sampling size formula in case of discrete data 